Hi guys, it's Amy again, here with the Mom Edit, bringing you another fantastic video, if I do say so myself. Last time I was on this channel, we talked about my favorite denim of 2022, and I personally loved it. I feel like I learned a lot about my wardrobe, I dug a little bit deeper of what maybe some pieces I'm missing and what I kind of want to add into my wardrobe for 2023, so I wanted to do it again. This time, dig into my wardrobe and talk about my favorite tops of 2022. Now it was a little bit hard. I was trying to narrow it down to like favorite sweaters or favorite basics, but I feel like I'll be more true to myself if I just say favorite tops and keep it a little bit broad because I kind of had like one favorite in each category. I had a favorite cardigan. I had a favorite button up. I had a favorite t-shirt brand because all the t-shirts in this one specific brand are so good. And then as a little bit of a bonus, I had a favorite set. So it's technically one of my most worn and my favorite tops tops, but it goes with a matching pair of pants and I always wear them together. So I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna tell you why I love them, why they were my favorite, how I wore them. So let's get into it. Okay, first up on my favorite tops of 2022 goes to just a good classic graphic tee. At least every wardrobe in my opinion needs a good graphic tee, one that's really comfortable, one that you can just throw on without a bra or over a tank top. You can layer long sleeves under it. You could layer cardigans over it. It's just, it works in a million different ways. They're also timeless. I feel like a good graphic tee has and always will be in style. With that said, my favorite goes to a Neen Bing. The Bing graphic tees are are so good. I feel like the graphics are always cool and interesting. Honestly, they're mostly animal focused, which is kind of fun. They're very comfortable. I've had both cropped versions and this one's a longer tee. They also have that worn in feel off the bat. I feel like sometimes you get a graphic tee and it's a little bit more stiff and you feel like you need to wash it about 50 million times to get it to lay right on you. But these Bang t-shirts come straight from the package perfectly feeling worn in and vintage and that's why they're the best and I think that they're worth every single penny. I've had a few people over on the Mom Minute blog or social media channels question like I've never heard of that brand like why would I wear it? All I gotta say is you just need to try it. Try one of these t-shirts on. They're phenomenal. They're better than just a classic one that you could even pick up at Target. Like they're worth every penny because the quality is perfection. Straight out of the box. I promise you. Bing t-shirts one of my favorite tops of 2022 and the favorite graphic tee of the year, for sure. The second top on my favorite tops of 2022 list goes to this beautiful button down. If you read the Mom Edit blog, this is not probably a new item to you if you've seen any of my posts. I wore the heck out of this in 2022. Not only did I wear the heck out of this, but I researched gauze button down tops like no one could ever research. I mean, I exhausted it. I feel like I tried on more than I could ever count from all different brands from all different stores and this baby right here won out as the best gauze top of all time. It is called a double cloth button down and that I mean I don't really know what that means but I'm just gonna like go with what they're saying double cloth like maybe it's a double layer but it is so soft it is softer than any other gauze button down I tried all year long. It's a little bit dramatically oversized in length it's very long it, I'm a very tall person and it goes well below my booty, but I loved that because I feel like it's really easy to throw on with leggings, biker shorts, it can be a bathing suit cover up. It is an investment top, but it's made with eco friendly materials. So it's a little bit better for our environment the way that this top is made. And again, it's one of those investment tops that I think is worth every single penny because it's softer and more comfortable than most tops in my closet. So with that said, this is hands down, maybe even the favorite of 2022, definitely the most worn. And you can just wear it over pretty much anything alone, button up all the way, opened over things. So versatile, so good. All right, moving right along. Number three on my favorite tops of 2022 is the Jenny Kane Cashmere Cocoon Cardigan. This baby has a cult following and I've known about it for a long time and I've pinned it on my Pinterest boards more than anything and I finally decided to invest in it when they ran a sale and now I understand why there's a cult following because this cardigan is just superior. I did a full breakdown of this one compared with the alternative version from Quince. And while they're very close, when me and my husband both did a blind field test, we picked this one. Hands down, it just felt a little bit more luxurious, a little bit more softer. 
It's just really incredible quality. And a cardigan you can wear a million different ways. I feel like I've done blog posts on the mom edit about cardigans, and if I haven't, I'll do more of how to style a cardigan. That's a good idea. But it's long, it's drapey, it's oversized. It has the cocoon style, which means it's a little bit more like drop shoulders. It's a little bit looser in the upper body and it just cocoons you like a blanket and it's delicious. I hate when people describe clothes as delicious, but this one's delicious and it's so good. Last but not least, my most worn tops of 2022 is a little bit of a bonus choice because it is a matching set. But with that said, this was one of my most worn tops. I just happened to wear it pretty much always with the matching bottoms, even though the top looks so good with denim, both denim shorts and jeans. So it's the Haley sweater set from Free People. It is a chunky open knit material. It has these really fun, almost like 70s style pants. They're a little bit of a flare that kick out at the bottom of your leg. They are a cropped length. I have both my normal size medium and a size down, a small because it does run oversized. And honestly, it gives you a total different vibe with the pants, depending on what size you get. So with a medium, it's a little bit more full length. It's just like cropped at my ankle bone, really cute, high waist but a small, at least on my height, really crops off the length, which I don't mind. I think it's really fun. With loungewear, I don't mind like more of a dramatic crop to my ankle, um, but it's just something to keep in mind if you are tall, like I am, that when you size down, you lose some length on the pants. But if you keep your normal size, it's just gonna be a little bit more of a dramatic, oversized shape, especially in the top. But size mumbo jumbo aside, this baby I found is incredible incredibly versatile. There's something about this open knit that makes it really perfect to wear in cold climates, like when I lived in Northern Michigan, but it also seems to be perfectly engineered for a much more mild, warm Mediterranean climate as in San Diego where I live now. I have worn the heck out of this set in both dramatically different climates and have loved it and have felt like the perfect temperature while wearing it. I don't know, maybe it's a little bit of a magic cooling, magic warming effect, depending on where you wear it. But because of that, because I get so much wear out of it, I do own it in a few other, in a few colors. And like I said, both smalls and mediums. I mean, you can roll it really well. The sleeves roll really great, which is cute. You can like keep them cuffed. The pants, if you do find yourself shorter than me and the pants aren't cropped length on you, like you wish that they were, you can roll these up and they would stay. However, I'm kind of envious of girls that are shorter than me with this pant in particular because I feel like this hanging over your boots, like the dramatic flare hanging over your boots or your shoes would be so cute. So Free People Haley sweater set is another one of my most worn and my favorite tops, but a set of 2022. All right, so there you have it. Those are my favorite tops of 2022. It was a little bit of everything and they're pieces that just go the distance. And I think that's why they made the list of my favorite and most worn because you could wear them, I could wear them, and I did wear them a million different ways. And they're all incredibly comfortable. They're a little bit more of investment pieces, but they're quality. I feel like they'll last forever. I feel like I will own those pieces forever. They're definitely worth it. The cost per wear, at least for me, is pennies at this point because I've worn the heck out of them. I will continue to wear them into 2023. It'll be exciting to style them up with some new pieces that I add in. And yeah, I guess that's it. If there's anything more specific you want to see from me or any of the other contributors, please leave a comment. Let us know what you want to see. Let us know what you like. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And we'll see you later. Bye. I think I'm saying that right. A nine, a nine. Bing. I don't know if you can see that. Meh. Versions, and this one's a longer tee. Wow, that was really loud music. I don't know if you heard that.